And welcome back to the channel. Zach here with Dr. Eyeball MD. In today's video, I want to show you some new loops I got. These are really cool. They're angled loops. They have a mirror in them so you don't have to bend your neck down. We're going to do a review of these loops. Let's get into it. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Zach here with Dr. Eyeball MD. It's good to have you back. In today's video, what I want to do is I want to go over these new loops that I got from company Oroscoptic. This is not a sponsored video. These were not given to me. I bought these with my own money. They don't know I'm making this video. I'm not getting anything from making this video, but I want to share them with you because I think they're pretty interesting. They're unique um, and they're unlike all my other loops. So I have quite a few loops. Uh, if you don't know, loops are basically magnifying glasses for operating in the operating room uh, and doing surgery. Um, and I started my loops journey with kind of these basic loops, two and a half magnifications from Designs for Vision. Uh, they showed up in another video. Um, those are my first loops. They did just fine, um, but the optics on them weren't as good. So uh, I ended up going with a new type of loop from a company called Oroscoptic. And so these were my next set of loops. These were my uh, two and a half magnification loops from Oroscoptic. As you can see, uh, bigger field of view with these, better optics, cooler looking frames in my opinion. Uh, so this is my second pair of loops. I was very happy with these. Uh, they worked out really well. The next pair of loops that I got was an adjustable uh, set of loops. So this was really cool too because I could switch between two and a half and three and a half magnification all in the same loop and I'll show you what those look like right here. So these are my, uh, or were up until very recently, my current everyday loops here. They have, uh, they're called the iZoom Mini and they have this adjustable knob so I could switch between two and a half, three and a half magnification. I like these a lot. Um, got them in blue. It says Dr. Eyeball MD on the side. So these are a really cool loop and I, I found that I was mostly using these uh, at a three and a half magnification most of the time. Um, but then uh, I started noticing that toward the end of the day, my upper back in particular would get very sore, very tired. I'd go home. I was carrying a lot of tension in my upper back uh, from craning my neck down from a whole day of operating in this position. Uh, and that was something that was different than regular ophthalmology where we're looking through a scope. We have relatively good posture. Uh, and so I ended up finding these loops, which are the topic of today's review. And these are what are called ergo loops. So these are by the same company, Oroscoptic, and I've tried quite a few different companies. Uh, one of my friends also sampled quite a few of these angled loops from different companies. Um, and there's some decent ones out there, some better than others. Uh, but I, I tend to really like these actually. They're working out really well. And so this is what they are. They have this angle to them right here. So you can see uh, that they actually have a mirror within them uh, and then they angle down. And so the area that you're viewing, uh, you don't have to look directly at. So let me show you kind of what, what this looks like. So I put the loop on, I cinch down the, the back cord here. And for me to see where I would be operating, which if you can see in the frame would be about here. So that's where my neck is, right here. And so looking straight out, you can see the angle of my neck uh, for where I'm operating, where my hands are right here. And so I get to keep excellent posture. I get to keep my neck nice and straight. I'm not doing this. So this is my normal posture when I'm operating. With these loops, I get to be about right here. And I've been using these for the last week uh, and I've really enjoyed them. It took, it took a little bit of getting used to um, because what is around the loop, what is, what is in the frame that's not through the loop is a completely different view than what you're seeing. Whereas most loops you see a magnified bit and then everything around it is where it would normally be. With these loops, it's completely different. The other thing that took some getting used to is that if I turn my head, if I, or rather if I tilt my head at all, the view goes sideways. It actually goes the opposite way. So if I tilt this way, the view goes that way. And so it takes a little bit of getting used to in terms of learning how to position your head to bring what you want to see into view. So for the past week, it's been really nice on my neck. Um, my upper back has been hurting less. Uh, so, so far I'm really liking these loops. You can see the angle there. Um, these are three and a half magnification. Uh, it feels a little less magnified than my other three and a halves. Uh, so I wonder if it's, if it's actually a complete three and a half mag. It feels a little less mag on these, but, um, but I'm really liking it. Uh, the other difference with these loops is that or most of the loop, the loop part is actually set lower in the frame. These are a bit higher. So when I want to look around the loop, when I'm not looking 
uh, through the loop itself and I'm looking around the field, I end up looking under the loop, whereas with most loops, because they're centered lower in the frame, uh, you tend to look over the top of the loop to see anything uh, outside of the loops field of view. Other things with this, I find that the optics are really good with these. The field of view is plenty for what I need in oculoplastic surgery. This is where I'm operating, so I don't need a very large field of view. Um, so this, this is working out really nicely. Um, the frame is a really nice build. It's kind of a, a glasses style frame that you could, you know, you could see yourself wearing this even as a pair of glasses. They're not weird and bulky like some of the ones from Designs for Vision, in my opinion. Uh, they don't look like kind of like sports goggles, like some of the Oakley frames, um, real aggressive, like you get with like Surgitel and that kind of thing, although those are very comfortable. Um, I think these look a little bit better and these are still pretty comfortable. Um, the one other thing that I do like about Oriscoptic is they, may, they have this nice little nose bridge piece here uh, that's kind of a silicone type material. Um, and it's very comfortable, but what I've noticed with these loops is that one problem that can arise is that if they're pushed too close to me, um, my brow or my eyelids can kind of touch the loop in such a way that I get like a shade coming into the field of view. So I find that I have to sit these out on my nose just a little bit further than I normally would uh, to avoid that. So that's also one thing that took a little bit of getting used to, but um, when I take these and set them out just a hair further, and you can adjust the nose bridge piece to help, help with that, uh, I don't get that issue. Um, it does squeeze my nose a little bit after, after a few cases, but I'm probably just gonna have to tweak this bit a little bit uh, to make that better. These are the loops that I've pretty much gone to now that I'm using on every case, at least for the past week. The only thing I won't use these for is my orbit cases. So where I really am craning my neck around needing to look in holes and, and specific places, uh, I think these are probably not gonna be my go-to for that kind of thing. So for cases where I'm looking straight down, you know, so my upper blepharoplasty, lower blepharoplasty, all the lid cases, ptosis, ectropion, that kind of thing, uh, these are what I've been using. For the orbit cases, so I did some orbital tumor biopsies this week, uh, I use my um, three and a half mag oroscoptic loops. I like to be a little magged up when I'm, when I'm working in the orbit so I can really uh, get a good look uh, at what I'm doing. Uh, but the straight on view I prefer for orbit cases. And um, it is a little more craning of the neck, but you know, those cases are a little less often than the lid cases. So it's okay if I balance it out with these. So first impressions, I really like these. Uh, I'm gonna keep using these probably for all my cases except orbit cases. Um, the mag is good, even though I'm not sure it's exactly three and a half, it's, it's pretty good uh, because I float between liking kind of two and a half, three and a half mag. Um, it does come with a spot here to mount a light um, which you can get a light with these, and I'll show you that real quick. So I don't have the actual light with me, but it powers by this little battery pack and the light mounts here, it's adjustable, you can tweak it. I find uh, that I actually don't enjoy using the light as much as I thought I would, uh, because the overhead lights from the operating room are so bright that I find I really don't need them. And if I really do need a headlight, it's because I'm operating in a hole, like orbit surgery, and in that case, I actually put on one of the, the Ronin style headlights that's super bright and like really lights things up. So um, I've really gone away from using the headlights attached to these. The only time I find that it's helpful to use the headlight that these come with is uh, if I'm doing a bedside procedure where there's no overhead light and I actually do need to, a little bit of my own light. So um, that would be the case where I'd use a light. Anyways, so these are the Ergo Loops by Oroscoptic. Um, so check them out. Uh, these cost about $1,700 uh, all in, and that, that's with a discount because uh, I'm a fellow technically in training, so uh, I got a little bit of a discount for it. But super nice, I'm really glad that I got these, and I think my neck will be down the line and my upper back, uh, which I hope to save um, after many years um, of operating. So anyways, Ergo Loops by Oroscopic. Hope you guys like that video, leave questions about them in the comments section and I'll try to answer those for you. If you like these review style videos, leave a like on the video, subscribe, do all the things. Zach with Dr. Eyeball, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.